In the last film, we spoke about some of the impacts of climate change. Today, we're going to focus on one particular area that climate change affects, water. Climate change can have a significant impact on water supplies. This is a big deal. Why? Because quite frankly, water is essential to our survival. Just think, how many different ways have you already used water today? What would you do without it? We use water for lots of different things, such as drinking, cooking, cleaning, washing our hands, flushing the toilet and brushing our teeth. That's why in 2010, the United Nations officially recognised water as a basic human right. This means that water is something that everyone, everywhere should have access to. For most of us here in the UK, accessing water is easy. We simply head to the nearest tap, turn it on and voila, clean, safe drinking water provided by our local water companies. However, right now across the world, there are currently 771 million people who don't have access to clean water close to home. That's one in 10. But if water is a basic human right, why doesn't everyone have access to it? Well, there are barriers which stop people from accessing water. Currently, one of the biggest barriers to accessing water is climate change. Climate change and water. As we know, climate change means that weather patterns are changing. Some places are getting more rainfall and some places are getting less. These changes affect how much water an area has. When there is less rain, droughts become more common. A drought is a prolonged period with below average rainfall. During a drought, water sources such as lakes and rivers start to dry up because there isn't enough rainfall to replenish them. Droughts can mean that water supplies become unreliable, which makes it difficult for people to access clean, safe drinking water. In places that get more rain, floods might happen. A flood happens when a river overflows. Water from the river then floods into the surrounding area and causes all sorts of damage. Floods can destroy people's crops, toilets, homes, and they can contaminate drinking water sources with all of the nasty, horrible bits that end up in the flood water. Some places are better at coping with droughts than others. Droughts and flooding affect lots of countries across the world, including the UK. During the summer of 2018, the UK had half its normal amount of rainfall. This caused a period of drought and meant that the rivers, lakes and reservoirs started to get very low. Water companies across the UK encouraged people to save water so that we didn't run out. However, in February 2020, the UK experienced flooding as double the amount of rainfall fell and it was the wettest February in 100 years. Wealthier HICs, or high income countries, are often able to cope with droughts and floods more easily. However, as with many things, it's often the world's poorest countries that are hit the hardest. LICs, or low income countries, often don't have the same resources available and therefore aren't able to manage their water supplies as easily. Let's hear it from Brazil in Burkina Faso, who has experienced these things firsthand. My name is Basil and I work for WaterAid. I'm talking to you from Burkina Faso, a landlocked country located in West Africa. Of the 20.9 million people that live in Burkina Faso, 11 million people don't have access to clean water. That's over half of the population. Unfortunately, climate change means that there have been more droughts happening across Burkina Faso. These droughts are making it even harder for people to access clean water. In 2021, I visited the village of Yargo, which is in the south central part of the country. The community here get their water for drinking and cooking from a few boreholes and traditional wells in the area. When they work, these boreholes and wells are great. However, they aren't very reliable during the dry season from March, April, as there isn't enough rainfall to replenish the water. Climate change means that the dry season has been starting earlier than it used to, so the wells and boreholes dry up quicker, leaving the community without access to clean water. When there isn't clean water to drink, people often have no choice but to walk long distances in search of it, or to drink water which is dirty and could make them sick. 
This means that children have to miss school and adults aren't able to go to work and earn a living. In Yargo, a great way to make money is by growing and selling food. This is called market gardening and it can be a very profitable venture. The market gardens of Yago use a local dam to water their crops. In the dry season, the dam normally shrinks in size as there is less rain. However, the locals have noticed that the water in the dam is drying up quicker each year. For example, in 2019, the water in the dam dried up on March 11th. In 2020, it was February 16th. And in 2021, it was January 22nd. If there isn't enough water for crops, then they won't be able to grow and the market gardens can harvest them and sell them. Without crops to sell, people struggle to earn enough money and to buy the essential things they need to survive. Unfortunately, the example of Yargo isn't unique. Across Burkina Faso, and in many other countries, people are being hit hard by the effects of climate change. The climate crisis is a water crisis. By 2040, the United Nations estimates that one in four children will be living in areas of extremely high water stress. This means that they will be at risk of running out of water. So, what can we do to change this future? In the next film, we'll be talking about how we can manage the impacts of climate change.